What's up, you freaking losers? Today, I'm gonna be show. Oh, I'm stuck in the freaking. Ah! I'm gonna show you guys how to become some pro players, all right? I'm gonna show you how to scram. I'm gonna show you everything. All the freaking stuff. So let's go! All right, people. We're gonna be first talking about what scrims can be. They can be 1v1, 2v2. No, 2 2v. 2v2s, 3v3s, and I don't have 4 4v4s. Alright, that, that's what scrims can be, okay? But the main scrims you're gonna be doing are 3v3s and 4v4s. 2v2s, kinda. Now, I will say this if you are 1v1ing somebody, okay, that's just for fun, do not put that on your scrim record or you are a bum. Swear to God. Alright, let's talk about some rules of competitive. Okay, so we're gonna go over a first important new role called play space abusing. If you don't know what play space abusing is, it's pretty much just this, just walking like in real life. Like you could give yourself a boost with this, like if you're doing long jumps or something, you can give yourself a boost. So don't do that, okay? Don't play space abuse, buddy. Okay, so don't play space abuse. Um, obviously don't be a cheater. If you got mods, you're, you're a loser, okay? If you got mods, you're a loser. Don't mod, don't cheat. That's pretty much it. So I'm not gonna go over absolutely everything in this video, but I am gonna go over some, like, the main stuff. So this is how a scrim works. One team will start off as the taggers. So the other two, the other team, the other two people will start off as taggers and the other two will start off as runners. Now, if you're a runner, what you're going to have to do is you will have to start on the concrete. And I'll show, like, what that is, in case you don't know. Alright, so all of this is concrete. So this is concrete right here. Then this is concrete. And then back here is concrete. All of this, all of this is concrete. Right here is concrete. All of this. And then up here, all of it. Okay? So if you're on this, then you're good. You're on concrete. And the taggers will have to start on the bench. And I'll show you what the bench is. Like, I don't I don't know how you wouldn't know what a bench is. But I'm just going to show it anyways. Because I don't know if you know what a bench is. Okay, so this is a bench. Uh, I don't really know what else to say. But this is, this is the bench. Uh, it's just like the only bench in the entire game. So that's where the taggers start. So you will have 10 seconds. You have 10 seconds as runners to go wherever you want in the map okay if you want to go i don't know let's say tallest or stump or big or wherever you want to go wherever your little heart desires you can go in those 10 seconds to start but then after those 10 seconds the taggers will be released and they will come for you all right how to get some points so first of all a time cap which is a very used term in competitive is three minutes which is like the end of a round like the max time you can get on a run in a round so like if you and your teammate or you or your team or whatever, all right? So if you make it to three minutes, like that's it. The round's gonna stop, okay? Can't go over three minutes. Okay, so this is how it works, all right? So if I'm running, right? And a lava monkey tags me and whatever, 40 seconds, that's the end of the first round, okay? All right, so I got 40 seconds on the clock. So now the roles are gonna switch. The people who are just lava monkeys are now the runners, and the runners are now the lava monkeys. And what I have to do is I have to tag them under the time I just got, so I'd have to tag them under 40 seconds. So in under 40 seconds, you can tag all the runners. Boom, that's a point for your team. Congrats, you're up one. So how the score works is it's a best of five, so that pretty much just means the first team to three points on the board wins the match. All right, time for some tips and tricks with Dr. Doom, baby. Okay, the biggest tip I have, okay, is is comms, okay, callouts, all right? Callouts are the biggest thing, distance callouts, just like where you're going, where you're rotating. Callouts are so huge, so I'm just gonna go over like distance comms, like super quickly. All right, so let's say my teammate gets tagged, or, or I get tagged, right? I'm gonna go and sit on top of gazebo, and I'm gonna be giving distance callouts to him while he's running so i'm gonna be like oh you have good distance from them from the lava monkeys mid distance it's like it's like good it's not good it's not bad mid distance or very bad like they're about to drop on your head and you're about to get killed okay that those are good cons so good distance 
uh, mid distance and bad distance. Some people say it a little different, but that's how I say it. I'm also gonna be like, hey, you got good distance, like one's trailing you, which is like means that one's following you. And then one's going for a cutoff. A cutoff, obviously, just like they're going to cut you off to the way you're going. So like, oh, one's trailing, one's cutting off. Like, watch out for that. That's really good uh, comms to know. Oh yeah, another thing too is like you don't want like multiple people giving comms. You just want you want clear, good comms. Like if your teammate's already doing comms, don't try to like talk over him and give your own comms. Just let him do it. You want to have good comms. All right, so now I'm just gonna go over the locations of the map, like the names of the trees, the name of spots, you know, the name of the walls that you're on. Just I'm gonna go over a screenshot that I have of just like all of that, and we're gonna talk about that real quick. All right, so here you go. I like this picture because it just literally shows everything, like treehouse, bagel, Apollo, shows all the walls, back wall, death wall, pig wall, stump, gazebo, top plat. Uh, tallest, double wash, just everything. All right, so make sure you get this down. And you want to get those spots down because at the beginning of the rounds, in like the 10 seconds, you're going to be like, oh, I'm going Apollo. Because you don't want multiple teammates going to the same place that you are. It's just bad. All right, you don't want that. So you want to know the comps. And also, like I just said, you want to like learn those comps when you're starting the round. When you're a lava monkey, it's also good to say, like, try to look around and be like, hey, this monkey's going Apollo, this guy's going tallest, this guy's going stump, alright? You want to have good comps and then divide up your teammates so you know where you want to go and who you want to go after. Okie dokie, my boys. Alright, so now I'm going to show you a scrim I literally just played in. I like I played this today, like a few hours ago. I'm not going to show you the first two rounds because, well, I was getting shit on and I was unwarmed up, okay? So I'm not going to be showing you those rounds and I don't care, alright? If you want to go watch the video, I'll put it in the description. But pretty much, uh, I'm just gonna be, like, showing you the stuff that we literally just talked about in this video, alright? Uh, we do come back. I will say that, little sneak peek. Okay. Three, two, one, runners. Okay, so immediately I tell my teammate where I'm going right off the bat so he doesn't go with me. Run. And this is fine because he also told me, so, like, we're going the same way, but he told me where he was going. And... He's gonna rotate out of there at the start. Tag is tag. Okay, so there you go. There's that first 10 seconds we were talking about. So now the lava monkeys are coming. Okay, so as you just heard, that was the other team, and they were giving good call outs to like where either of us was. No, no. All right, so there goes my teammate. So now, as you can see in the bottom right, I have to clutch up and beat that time. No, One tag from my man. What time are we at? 30 seconds. I'm on the ground. What? Are you brain damaged? Okay, so you don't want to be doing what the other team is doing and fighting with each other. That's just bad comms and like it's gonna make yeah. you bad. Where the fuck that is? Yo, what the fuck are you doing? You're not been close to him this entire game. <laughs> I'm getting pissed off. No, it's not funny. <laughs> Where is he? Alright, I'm fucking. I'm gonna make up some bullshit excuse to each other shit. <laughs> oh, I'm like, what's going on? Yeah, I've got him. I think my stomach. Uh, mid. <laughs> I think I'm coming down with something. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you notice how my teammate is giving me distance call-outs. I was listening to this, and I was knowing, I guess, I know where they are. I know how close they are to me. Oh, 
my god, no, I'm actually, okay. I'm recording. Can I just the game? Dude, no, actually, don't you like play the game, please, I think. Okay, okay, go, just stop. All right, so I did get a little, I did get a little hype right there. I ain't gonna even lie, I got a little hype. Time cap. Three, two, one, runners run. Okay, like I said before, now the roles are reversed and we have to tag them. Tag is tag. One tag, one remain. Yeah, I'm just saying, by the way, rep, if we lose this, I'm cheating and putting on record as a win. Okay, don't do what he just said, because the ref was saying after this that if they do that, he has it all in recording and he's going to send it in and their like, team is going to get banned. All right, I hit my Go up, go up. Don't go behind you. Don't go behind you. Go up. Go up the tree. Go up the tree. Go up the tree. Go up the fucking tree. No. Go up the tree. 44 seconds. Wait, you, are you saying that to me? I'm I'm no, I'm saying that to the guy with the party hat. I'm okay. gonna do that to you. Okay, mm. everyone ready. Again, I just told my teammate where I was going, he acknowledges it. I he told me where he was going, we're good. Okay. Three, two, one, runners run. So some of you people who already know Scream are like, hey, this ain't second tallest. Yeah, yeah, I know. I switched it up at the end. Tag is tag. So right off the bat, I tell my teammate, hey, there's two on me, and you'll see in a second here that he's going to give me distance comps since there's two on me and none on him.
So at this point, they gave up. They were just fighting with the ref, trying to come up with an excuse to restart the round or whatever, saying they are going to fake their screen record. We won. Oh GG to God, them. They were hella toxic, though. So, so, I, mean, I am dead. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Alright, so thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you out in uh, whatever way. I hope you get better in scrims. I'll put some competitive discords in the description. So yeah, have fun.